as a reminder, any video that you see on Code Equestria is not being used for monetary gain, and any any video, any videos whose subject matter is about anything advertised is not being advertised for the gain of the individual companies therein. Audio video clips from the game are being directly recorded from proper video game capture sources and not stolen from the games themselves. And follow all proper codage of the fair use law. Got it? Translated. We're not getting paid for this. By anybody. Enjoy the show. Hey guys, welcome back to Caddick. And yes, it's been a long time since we've done one of these things. And this is the Caddick review for... Diablo 3, Reaper of Souls, as you can tell by the title. Well, Diablo 3 took about 12 years to come out because of multiple idealisms and different things like that over at Blizzard Entertainment. Now, Diablo 1 and Diablo 2 are known as the most famous dungeon crawlers of them all. And Diablo 3, pretty much, picks up in this tradition. Now, Diablo 3 is the first of these games on a console. Now, they were re they were re-released recently on the Xbox One and PS4, but there's a 360 version of this version as well that includes every bit of DLC that was previously in the Diablo games. Now, granted, now, granted, Diablo isn't necessarily the most refined game. Graphically, it looks great, but what you're pretty much going to get is a lot of grinding. It seems to casualize it for the fans, a lot of the legendary armor and armor and harder sets like spells, attacks, and even the leveling and attack system were casualized for convenience. This makes the idea, if you played the older Diablos, of gaining legendary armor not so legendary. Bosses are very easy to defeat and the difficulty curve has been Spiked kind of downward. Now, granted, I play, I play games for enjoyment, so I don't really care about playing on max difficulty. But I know several people that do, and although there are those difficult moments that you'll run into, especially on harder difficulties, the vaster experience is a lot more simplified. And yes, for those that are seeking difficulty, there are eight difficulty levels. Eight. And multiple character classes. Although, the customization of those classes are pretty much null and void. You have your basic warrior, range, mage types, and some variants of such. Co-op is in the game, present for four players, but I prefer to keep things on a solo level. But you can also send different weapons, armor types, and things to your friends if you need it be. The voice acting is Absolute, absolutely astounding with every nugget of information that you find in books relevant to either the quest that you're on or to the overall lore of Diablo. And trust me, 
there's plenty of lore here. And plus, along the way, there are indeed cutscenes that you can experience that will bridge between the chapters of both of the campaigns. The first one, of course, having you stop the forces that hail Diablo. And ultimately, in the second DLC campaign, added for Reaper of Souls, to stop, stop, of course, Death himself from taking over the planet. The game has a very grim, doom and gloom aesthetic throughout, which works out for a game called Diablo. But not everything in Diablo 3 is gloom and doom. It seems to me that Blizzard is a bunch of trolls. Because there is one place that's not so mean. And it is this. Welcome to Whimsydale. I don't know if they were paying attention to ponies or just wanted to play a cool joke. But this world is filled with rainbows, clouds, and yes, evil attacking unicorns. What more has to be said? Plus the shops and the blacksmith can be easily leveled up. Diablo 3 with its great easy control scheme, easy to understand, understand map. Tons of lore, great voice acting, and even greater cutscenes. Leave it to Blizzard to make great cutscenes. Scenes are all the pluses that this game astounds to have. But its non-legendary armor system and the need to grind for materials in the blacksmith and other places to gain legendary gear that can be easily replaceable and the lack of individual character customization and the fact and the fact that the difficulty curve often tweaks from extremely easy easy if you're playing on the easiest difficulty to sometimes extremely hard spikes but isn't really that much satisfying, leaves the game with an empty feeling. But if you don't mind grinding the extra hours or spending hours after the game in the game's almost never ending challenge mode filled with other quests for more legendary loot and achievements, there's plenty of time to be wasted here. Over 70 hours hours if you feel compelled but for those that are veterans of Diablo this will feel like less of an experience to you for those that are first timers however this is a perfect entry point and with all the DLC attached will make for a great deal you could probably get this for 40 bucks right about now but I would even suggest slightly paying a little bit more. This is a $50, $50 game in my summation. Although not perfect like some reviewers in the media have said Diablo 3 is an, imp is an impressive piece of work considering it's a PC port. And it might be the best PC port I've ever seen. That's why I give Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls an 8 out of 10. Pick this up as a great rental or a great budget title. You won't be disappointed. And you won't be going to hell for it. Until next time, find peace in your own nirvana. Thanks for watching.